video, we're going to go over how to post cropped German pincher ears. The first step is going to be to gather our supplies. You're going to need a box of Tampex tampons, regular absorbency with a cardboard applicator. You're going to need a pair of sharp scissors, a roll of duct tape, and a roll of medical tape. The tape that we prefer is the Coach Johnson & Johnson sports tape. All of these supplies can be purchased at your local Walmart. The second step is gonna to be to prepare our posts. You're going to unwrap three of the tampons. You're gonna take two of the tampons and your medical tape. And we're gonna use the tape to secure the middle of the tampon so the applicator does not slip. The next step is gonna to be to trim the string off of the end of the two tampons. Next, we're gonna remove a portion from the cotton end of the tampon. Just like that. And you can do it to both of the tampons that you're preparing. Okay, the next step is gonna to be to take your medical tape and we are going to go around the base of the tampon, starting where the cotton part of the tampon is. We're gonna go around it one time in order to get the tape to stick to the tampon. And once you've secured it around once, you're going to back wrap the tape with the sticky side out, up the entire length of the tampon. This is gonna make it so that your post is sticky on the outside and will adhere to the puppy's ear. So there's one. And you do it with your second post. Now we have both of our posts prepared. Now the third tampon, we are going to disassemble. And you're gonna just need one piece of the applicator and it's gonna be used to secure the ears together. Next, you're gonna begin cutting your tape that you're going to use to secure the puppy's ear to the post. So you want to cut two pieces about this long And that's gonna go around the base of the ear to secure the ear to the tampon. And then you need two lengths of tape that are slightly shorter. And these pieces are gonna be used to go up the length of the ear. Next, we get out our duct tape and we're gonna cut one piece about three inches long And then we're gonna cut another piece, quite a bit longer, probably about 14 inches or so long. And we are gonna take this duct tape and we are gonna rip it in half. And now we're ready for our puppy. Your next step is to get your puppy, preferably place your puppy on an elevated surface. We like to use a grooming table with a detachable grooming arm. If you do not have a grooming table available, you may use a small table or even a kitchen chair. Once you have your puppy up on an elevated surface, you wanna pull the ear up and we're gonna take our first post. You're gonna use the longer side to put inside the ear. Um, the marker that we look at is this, what I call the ear nub, and you're gonna to wanna to put your post right against that ear nub. From there, you're gonna to wanna to take one of your larger pieces of medical tape and secure it to the post. 
and you're going to wrap it around the ear, going in the direction over the top of the head with the fold of the ear and secure the tape. You want the tape to be not too tight, but it can't be loose. The goal is to not cut off circulation, but to have it tight enough that it's secure. Okay, from here, we're gonna trim off the top of the post. Careful not to cut the puppy's ear. And we're going to take one of the smaller pieces of medical tape and run it up the length of the puppy's ear. Just like that. And so your first post is in place. Next, we're gonna repeat the same process on the second ear. We're gonna to try to get you a more up close look at where we're placing the post. Good boy, Dylan. So you're gonna pull the ear up and our marker is gonna be the ear nub. And we're gonna take the longer side of the tampon and place it into the ear, right at the ear nub. And then we're gonna take one of our longer pieces of medical tape and we are going to wrap with the ear fold or towards the top of the head. Good boy, Dylan. And so it looks like this. Again, we're gonna trim off the top of the tampon, being very careful not to cut the ear. And we're gonna take our smaller piece of medical tape and go right over the top of the ear. And it is important that this tape goes over the top because it's going to help secure the tampon from slipping up and coming up out of the ear. Okay, so this is what it looks like with both of our, our posts in place. Next, we're gonna secure the posts together. And we're gonna start on the, his right ear and tape across the front. You're gonna be careful to play, position the ears in the way that you want the ears to stand in the future. So they should be very vertical. They should look like goal posts. So you go all the way around behind and then all the way around like this. So that's a properly taped ear. Next, we're gonna take our piece of disassembled tampon and we are gonna use it to place between the two ears to secure them apart so that they're not going to be touching each other like this. So you're going to want to measure it and make sure the length is correct right here. I don't need to trim this. Sometimes you may need to cut a piece off of this. Once you've got it the correct length, you're going to get your piece of duct tape. You're going to go across the front just like this creating a little pocket for your piece of tampon, which we've secured there. And then we're gonna take the remaining duct tape and flip it underneath and attach it to the back. And this is what a properly set of posted ears looks like. I'm gonna show you the back here. Good boy, Dylan.